As an active member of the Canadian Coast Guard Auxiliary, you are automatically insured for your participation within the Auxiliary. Whether it is routine activities or possibly dangerous and life-threatening missions, the CCGA Insurance Plan is in place as a safety net for you. We want to ensure you are protected in the event of an accident while on a CCGA authorized activity. Being aware of the scope of coverage provided by the CCGA ensures you, your crew and your vessel are well looked after on and off the water. There are two types of insurance coverage that the CCGA has in place for its members, group or personal injury coverage and marine and non-marine coverage. Each type of insurance is discussed in the accompanying videos. Please note these videos provide an overview of CCGA coverage for general purposes only. For more detailed information, please consult the insurance summary or the insurance FAQs found on the CCGA website. For legal interpretation, the text of the actual policies and contractual agreements is the proper source of reference. From the main menu, which will appear, please choose which coverage you would like to know more about. This video is a general overview of the marine and non-marine coverage you are insured for through the CCGA. Currently, this type of insurance coverage for the Canadian Coast Guard Auxiliary is provided through Marsh Canada. Once your vessel has been enrolled and accepted by the CCGA, your vessel is covered from the time it begins an authorized CCGA activity and lasts for the duration of the activity. Authorized activities include SAR taskings, training exercises, patrols, towing of disabled vessels, and towing of oil booms into position. Authorized activities do not include any type of scuba or snorkel diving and flare demonstrations. The hull and machinery portion of the policy provides coverage for a vessel. It does not include coverage for cargo or catch that is on board any insured vessel. Net and gear are not covered unless specifically declared. In that case, they are only covered for their loss if the vessel is a total loss. The assessed value or valuation of a vessel shall be agreed upon by the CCGA vessel owners and the CCGA. Depending on the type of vessel and the function of this vessel, the maximum value varies. For a complete list of the maximum values for specific vessel types, consult the insurance summary under the heading Coverage. Charter hire vessels are also insured for hull and machinery damage. However, this is applicable only to commercial fishing vessels and the hired vessel must have been damaged during an authorized CCGA activity. In that case, the insurer will pay up to $1,500 daily. Charter hire vessels are subject to a per incident maximum of $90,000 with a four-day deductible. The deductible on hull and machinery coverage is 1% of the declared value of the vessel with a minimum deductible of $1,000 on any one vessel. If the insured vessel came into contact with ice, the deductible is 3% of the declared value with a minimum deductible of $1,000 on any one vessel. The personal effects of a member are covered up to $2,500 on any one item per claim, but this coverage applies only during an authorized activity and when a claim is made against a vessel. It is in excess of any other valid and collectible insurance. The same insurance policy also provides liability coverage called Protection and Indemnity, or P&I, P&I protects members against suits alleging negligence brought against CCGA members by third parties for bodily injury and property damage that occur at the time the vessel was used for an authorized activity. Coverage for liability is $10 million. This includes legal defense costs. Under a separate policy, CCGA has general liability insurance coverage. This coverage is designed to protect the CCGA as well as its employees and volunteer members against claims for alleged negligence brought by third parties for bodily injury, property damage, or personal injury. 
Under the general liability, the limit of liability per occurrence is $5 million. The deductible is $10,000. Tenant's legal liability refers to coverage for damages to a rental building in which you are held legally liable. This could be a building rented for a specific CCGA activity or a long-term rental. The limit is $1 million and the deductible is $2,500. There are certain extensions that exist within the general liability coverage. These include, but are not limited to, non-owned automobiles in Canada and USA only, employee benefit errors and omissions with a limit of $1 million, employer's liability, and legal liability for hired automobiles up to $65,000. There is a deductible of $2,500 and medical payments up to $10,000. An important exclusion found under the general liability coverage is the total watercraft liability exclusion. This exclusion avoids duplication of coverage provided under the protection and indemnity section of the marine policy. Automobile coverage varies province to province. It is only provided for Newfoundland and Labrador, the Maritimes and Quebec regions. The coverage is for bodily injury and property damage. The per accident limit is $5 million. This policy includes physical and liability coverage for trailers in Pacific and Central Antarctic regions. Accident benefits coverage is the basic statutory coverage as dictated by each individual province. The direct compensation for property damage has a zero deductible where coverage is applicable. For an uninsured automobile, coverage is as per provincial statute. The deductible applicable to the vehicles, that is power units, is $2,500. For trailers, the deductible is $1,000. The bumper shoot policy provides additional liability limits. The policy has a limit of $15 million. However, the bumper shoot policy sits on top of the general liability insurance, non-owned auto liability, protection and indemnity insurance, and automobile liability insurance. That means it typically follows the coverage, limitations and exclusion of the policies it sits on top of. It has a retention comparable to a deductible of $100,000 when coverage is triggered for a risk not already covered by one of the policies it sits over. CCGA insurance coverage also covers losses resulting from crime or dishonest acts as well as destruction and disappearance of property. Some key elements of this coverage include employee dishonesty, inside and outside robbery, and losses resulting from counterfeit, forgery, and computer fraud. The limits on this coverage vary, but range from $5,000 to $100,000. The CCGA insurance program also includes an element of coverage for property owned by each region. Coverage is provided on an all-risk basis. The overall combined limit for all regions is based on the values reported to the insurer. Content is insured on a replacement cost basis. The principal deductible is $10,000 per loss. The CCGA also has Directors and Officers Liability Insurance. This is an errors and omissions policy. That is to say it insures against what are known as wrongful acts committed in the management of the CCGA business. Wrongful acts are generally errors, misleading statements, neglect or breach of duty, employment practices liability, and other matters relating directly to the position of officer or director. Detailed information about extensions, limits and exclusions can be found on the CCGA website. Consult the CCGA Insurance Summary or the Insurance FAQs for more information.